Hey, hey, how we all doing? RC 4 we man. How we all traveling? You doing okay? Look, this is gonna be a bit of an update one, bit of a bit of a refresher. Get myself sort of like refreshed as well, back to back to the uh, next sort of phase of where I'm at because I'm still working all this out. So for those of you that are already here, well, um, you know what I'm all about. It's all about raising awareness for mental health and uh, because of the issues I've had and I sort of found great solace in these, that's that's my platform, using these little trucks. So anyway, um, I'm just starting to dabble in a few things. You've probably seen some silly stuff before. Um, that's right, it's, I don't care um, if you like it or you're not. But give me a like anyway, you know what I mean? For making a dick of yourself. But uh, no, we're just gonna keep on venturing on. There's a few things coming up. But um, yeah, just wanted to update for those that uh, may not have seen the earlier stuff. So. Uh, this this whole episode is sort of like a bit of my own struggle that I've um, sort of found ways to deal with it and and uh, uh, beat the black dog a little bit and uh, knowing what it's like to, to uh, definitely struggle um, uh, being at the point that I was where I didn't think there was any coming back and then to get uh, to the point where there was the other end of it going wow uh, you can come back uh, that was a pretty important message that I learned there so I was pretty determined that I thought if I could pass that on because I know when you're at your lowest um, you know sometimes even sensible things you just don't believe it so that's what I'm all about it's uh, I've, I've, I've had my own personal struggles um, a little bit of shitty health um, a little bit of bad luck and um, unfortunate things go on as life sometimes does anyway it put me in, into a situation I've never been in before so but uh, learnt that you can that it's um, okay to to, to not feel, well it's not okay to feel off, but it's not unusual to feel off and a little bit confused and unsure. Uh, that's why it's important to also understand that, that there's, uh, there's ways and means of just getting around depression, uh, suicidal thoughts, um, you know, sort of, sort of all sorts of things. Um, as I said, I won't get into too much detail, but I mean, there was a point in time when I thought, well, you know, I think the old Bruce is gone, but no. There's, uh, there's uh, ways we can do it. One of the biggest things we can do is we can talk. And uh, that's why we need to talk. Um, and I'm just not meaning us. We need to talk. Obviously, we need to talk. But, yeah, you know what I mean. But you do need to talk. You need to get out there and talk. That's why there's this episode, there'll be no, no driving to the little trucks. It, well, actually, that's a lie because, um, yeah, that's, that was a blatant lie. There's always going to be a little... But look, hey, look, just let, let's have a look at this.
No, trucks, sure. Right. Um, no, it is important that you, that, that you understand that it's okay to feel a little bit um, un, not normal. It's, it's not unusual. It's because the way the world is, a lot of stress, a lot of pressure. There's a lot of things going on in the world. Um, the current wars going on in different spots, regardless of what your views are or whose side you believe is right or wrong. But the whole point being is there's a lot of suffering going on, you know, and it's, and it's not good. That's creating a lot of burden with uh, food. Um, I think food from the Ukraine, Russia area, um, even I didn't realise how many hundreds of millions of people that that grain is sort of like a main staple diet. And just that little bit of an interruption there, it's, you know, sort of causing havoc, let alone fuel and everything else. But anyway, without getting too sidetracked, Obviously, with, uh, with, with the current way things are, the cost of living, uh, rental crisis, uh, just lots and lots, you've got a shitty job. You know what I mean? Uh, if you've got a few money hassles, your you know, partner and yourself not, might not be sort of right, having the best time of it, but stick in there, ride it out, you'll be right. And the most important thing is to just uh, make sure that you both know that, that you're on the same team. And uh, there's another reason for reaching out. You know, if, if, if things are clouded and things are really, really hard to hard to deal with. Um, a lot of times you, even though you think you are, well, you're not thinking straight. You're not thinking clearly. Um, and there's sort of sometimes better decisions that can be made. And once again, that's why it's important to reach out. And when I say reach out, it doesn't necessarily mean just ring Lifeline. It doesn't necessarily mean just do this. It can be whatever you feel comfortable with doing. In the situation that I found, uh, there was uh, two, two uh, chaps, there's a Dr. Matt, and a, um, a psychiatrist or psychologist uh, called Scott um, involved with the hospital. And then I've also been seeing another chap, uh, Anthony. Um, he's my psychologist, so I'll pop in and have a bit of a chat. And uh, just to keep things square, um, it's been a huge immense help. That's, I, I blame those three. Blame's a stupid word, but I blame those three for me still being here because uh, they, they knew their thing. Uh, I, I didn't have a clue. I was, I was right in the middle of going on the knuckle with the black dog. So that's why it's important. You always gotta reach out. You gotta always make sure that you just ask a family member, ask a friend, ask a stranger. If you, if, ask your next door neighbor, ask your kids if they're old enough to understand. Bring up one of the organizations that's out there. But just do something about it. Don't just sit there and, and just do it on your own. It's no good. You know, it, it'll be harder than it has to be. Uh, and it's gonna be hard. Um, I found it hard at several times and just recently found it a little bit hard too. But uh, thankfully, because I'm, I'm, I'm learned now of the fact of reaching out and to understand the importance of just even having a chat to someone, the importance that that has uh, has it, it's been demonstrated within my own own personal circumstances over and over. So it's a bit like uh, when you when you have a painkiller, and uh, you're due to have that painkiller at six o'clock. Well, you don't not have it. You have it at six. It does the job. So it's the same as if you you know know that uh, having a chat or you work out that geez having a chat that was actually you know and what our mate said too geez didn't think of it like that. Uh, you just there's always other points of views and if someone else can is thinking clearer well it's obviously going to be easier so yeah always reach out want to see a bit more trucks all right let's go and check out let's go let's go yeah let's just go and do it started so
actually this little section through here it's not a bad little line actually um it's at the old favorite water and hole zoom crossing and uh, in queensland but uh since all the flooding we had all the rain come through uh, you can get right across the other side and I'll end up tipping it over at once those there so i've got my feet wet anyway but that's only a little bit of water it's drying out quite nicely but uh yeah it's a crazy little line so uh met up with chris with the uh with with the green 40 series um not 100 percent sure what it is that's in that one it's i know it's got an overdrive underdrive and it's a different there's a few different things um but yeah great little truck uh, it's even got the little smaller wheels but yeah just just about goes anyway but um yeah met up with him and there's yeah some good some some really good areas there right just where you you know where you park the car so haven't been down for a proper run down the other end of it but yeah that was good so anyway we'll get to the other side of all that water and it, it, there was this section here Not a bad run up that far side. It was an interesting little one, never been able to get it there before, but since that tree's fallen over and um, the water's dropped a little bit, it's actually quite a sandy, interesting boggy yeah, run through. It was quite good. Um, opened up a few more lines. Not lines, like, you know, lines, you know, lines. Let's watch another video.
work on real ones with the same model, mate. Yeah. And then a uh, bit more of a uh, blast up around the side after you get up over that bank there and then get back across the water. Um, get up around the old hill climb there. Um, not too sure. Well, let's just have a look. Hey, and um, Oz RC's got a show and shine flex competition drag gathering or something i'm not 100 sure on it but um i think that's coming up in a week or two so uh we might pop along to that one uh, and we'll check it out So, there you go, bit of a chin wag, we, we definitely need to talk, we need to talk a lot more, um, just make sure you talk, make sure you ask, make sure you reach out, but we definitely need to talk, talk to your friends, talk to your family, make sure that you're all doing okay, and if you're doing okay, that's bloody fantastic, yeah, that's awesome, alright. Well, until next time that we meet, which I think will probably, if nothing else comes up between, it'll either be the Oz RC run or maybe the second run with the felony with the two sets of tyres. We'll see how we go. So we'll see what happens. All right. Well, I'll leave it with you until next episode. Make sure you take care of yourselves and stay safe. Um, hope you've enjoyed this episode. A bit of a chin wag and a bit of a look at some falling around there. Obviously, I couldn't do one of these episodes without crawling. That'd be stupid. But anyway, um, yeah, just make sure that you take care of yourselves and take care of your family and friends. Keep an eye on each other. Ask the question if you're not feeling a little bit, you know, like your normal self. There's nothing wrong with it. The way the world is at the moment, there needs to be more of it. And uh, as this is entitled, we need to talk. And that's because we need to talk. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter what it is. Sometimes even just just the process of having a talk is all that it takes um you know it's just sometimes hard to get the ball rolling and that's that's the situation that i think is probably one of the biggest problems once yeah like hey if a problem is identified it's a bit like at work i mean you've got a, you've got an issue then until you sort of find out what the go is you can't really do anything about it but once you find out what the go is well, then you can work at it and you can work out a way to fix it and um, get things back to normal. Well, it's the same as with your mindset. You know what I mean? If you have a, have something that sort of upset the equilibrium a little bit and it's sort of, you know, you might be having a bit more of a difficult time about finances or a bit more difficult time about about um, just life in general, you sort of sometimes don't always come up with the right or the best outcome just by thinking about it yourself. And it's also harder than it has to be, so. Make sure you talk. That's the most important thing. All right, I'm not going to waffle anymore. Keep the likes coming in. I love it every time I get one. Thanks very much for the subscriptions that we've got. Spread the word. Um, like I said, I'll, I'll try all sorts of different things. Um, yeah, sort of like uh, don't be too shocked or, or whatever if something weird comes up, which I'm sure you've seen a few. That's just, I don't know, I'm still working all this out. But anyway, once I get it worked out, yeah, you can only get better, hopefully. And as long as you have a laugh along the way, that's, you know, we're halfway there. Uh, and get good mental health out of it in the end, well then, we just, we, we've just hit it for six. So, all right, love you guys, stay safe, and I'll talk to you next episode. Nasty for me.